I'm Rachel White with the Horizon Link here with John Kaufman, the head men's basketball coach at Purdue Fort Wayne, um, an incoming member into the Horizon League. So first question, coach, just talk about your excitement for Purdue Fort Wayne to join the Horizon League this season. Well, I, I think it's a great fit. I mean, just when you look at the, at the location, we're, we're right in the center. Um, and it allows us to sort of uh, revitalize some, some old rivalries like Oakland and IUPUI and, you know, creates the opportunity to create a bunch of new ones. When you look at, you know, right states right around the corner, Northern Kentucky, I mean, everybody, um, you know, is right around the corner. And obviously with us all kind of recruiting our backyards, you know, we'll, we'll initiate some, some rivalries that way too. Um, but in terms of for our program and our university, uh, the Horizon Lake has a tremendous brand in our region and particularly in Indiana. Um, you look at some of the past Indiana uh, members with, you know, Butler and Valpo, who really cut their teeth in the horizon, did great things. And so when when we go around Indiana and say, you know, we're a member of the Horizon League, you know, instantly, you know, they're, they're raising their eyebrows, they're excited. And so I think that's going to help us, not just in terms of our recruiting and our program and all athletic uh, uh, programs, but just our university. And something that's really unique with our university um, at least I believe it's unique. I'm not sure what other universities have in our, in our area, but um, we have, there's a consortium called the MSCP where we offer in-state tuition to eight or nine different states uh, in the Midwest. And it's the exact same footprint as the Horizon League. So, you know, in athletics, you're the, you're the, uh, you know, you're the front door to your university. And now when we're traveling, when we're in the newspapers, when we're on ESPN, you know, we're marketing in areas that we're trying to attract students and they get in-state tuition. So um, I think it really helps uh, not just our universe, I mean, not just our program, but our university. Definitely. And how are you sort of preparing for the challenge that, that uh, comes along with joining a new league where everybody else kind of knows each other, you're sort of the new kid on the block? Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's twofold. Um, I think we play a different style, and that's something that, uh, you know, has led to, you know, a lot of success over the last seven, eight, nine years. Um, you know, we were averaged 19 wins, played in five postseasons, beat IU back-to-back -back years once when they were ranked number three, won our league. I mean, a bunch of things where we've been good, but it's all been with our style play. We play very fast. Um, we share the ball 80, 90 percent of the game. We're playing our motion offense. Um, you know, we've had 14 different offensive categories where we've been top 25 in the country, you know, from the assists to scoring to three point shooting. And so um, I think some of the uniqueness of how we play and how we do what we do, um, it will be new to the horizon league. Now, in terms of, you know, having 10 new members that, you know, we played a handful of them um, in the past, but you know, that's something that's going to be a challenge. And so we've always tried to just be better at what we do um, and focus on us so I think my mentality, our program's mentality, will serve us well going into a new league. Um, but we've already started with, uh, with my coaching staff to where I've, I've, I've told them they're doing mini scouts right now during the summer just to have a feel going into the year. Makes sense. And how do you think your experiences the last several years in the Summit League are going to help you as you enter the Horizon League? You know, I both leagues are very, very good leagues. And, you know, it's a little bit different style basketball. And we've played a handful of Horizon League teams. Um, but, you know, it's good mid-major basketball. And then, you know, for me, cutting my teeth as a head coach, you know, I spent 16 years as an assistant coach. And the more years I was an assistant coach, the more I, I recognized I didn't know. I was a head coach. Uh, seven years ago, I realized I really don't know anything. And so it's been very humbling. And so I think I've gained um, a lot of experience there and, and, and be able to manage different situations. And so much of coaching is, is about building relationships, managing relationships, and then, you know, being honestly a, a, a firefighter. I mean, you're constantly putting out fires and trying to avoid fires before they ever happen. And so I think I've, I, I've gained more patience with that um, you know, I think I've done a better job of, of uh, kind of stepping back and, and, and being disciplined in detail with my assistant coaches, but then also letting them go to work, letting them add value and add creativity and add to our process. And so I think that's, you know, that's just helping me overall. I don't know if that necessarily relates to the Horizon League, but I do know this. Uh, Sundays not being stuck in O'Hare Airport and having a 14-hour day on your day off will be nice in the Horizon League. So 
hopefully with the pace of play that we, we try to do, um, we're going to have better legs later in the season, shoot the ball better later in the season because we're going to be able to get a little bit more rest time. And also, I mean, we had a 3.21 GPA this last semester. We had a thousand uh, uh, on, on our APR. I mean, I'm really proud of what we've done academically. Academically, we had three guys in grad school this last year. But but I think the Horizon League is really going to help us academically because you know we're not going to be traveling as much. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And you've hit on it a little bit, but what are some just key characteristics that um, your team is really known for every year? Well, we're, we're we're always, I mean, our, our, our sort of pillars of play are going to be energy, toughness, and unselfishness. Um, our style of play, which when I, you know, when I took over the program seven years ago, um, I took a lot of what we had done in the past. I was an assistant here for three years. We just come off winning 25 games and playing the Summit League Championship game. And, and I said, all right, here's what I really like. And so I then put a little bit more of my personality on our program. And, you know, as you're building – a program you, you want something that's going to be appealing to your fan base and so we really raise the speed of our play um you know three years ago we were number four in the country in scoring we're going to play fast um you know i also believe that the three-point shot is a great equalizer um and so you know we're going to shoot a lot of threes and and uh and then i also believe in 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 you know sharing the basketball and we're we're, we're blessed to be you know, in Indiana, where there's a high IQ of basketball, and then the Midwest, where I just think there's, you know, I grew up in Atlanta, and I'm not, not, not diminishing anything from Georgia or Atlanta, but then there's great basketball where I grew up, but uh, I, I think the high school coaching in our region is exceptional, and so we're able to play a lot of motion and share the basketball, and so, you know, those are some things I think you're really going to enjoy watching as we go through the Horizon League, and, uh, and we've also been top 25 in steals. Uh, three of the last five years, and and so we we we've done that one. Uh, I think we've recruited well. Uh, I'd like to take credit for a lot of that, but but no, we got good players, um, and so I hope we can continue that. But um, you know, we've also been able to really sit in gaps and pressure the basketball and play good help side defense. So I think that's sort of the brand you're going to see for uh, you know the foreseeable future. That's great. Now we're going to do some more fun sort of getting to know you type questions just to help the Horizon League fans get to know you a little bit better. So the first one is what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. That's that's a good one. Um, well, if you if you look in the corner of my office and the Indiana people will love this, but I have even growing up, I don't know if you can see it behind the treadmill, but I got my Hoosiers poster that I grew up in Atlanta, but just grew up as a basketball junkie. And I got that Hoosier poster when, you know, I was a, I was a little kid and had frame and I, it was on my college wall. It's now in my office wall at home. So uh, to be true to my state, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hold the Hoosiers. Um, but, but then there's some other, there's some other really good ones that uh, we'll talk about, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, kind of off, offline with some of the humor. I'm a huge comedy fan and, and uh, you know, Caddyshack is always going to, you know, fall in line, uh, but probably second to Hoosiers. Gotcha. Do you have a favorite superhero? You know, I, I don't necessarily, I never really got into the Marvels, but I have an 11 year old son and uh, he, he loves costumes and dress ups. And I have a picture here that I will not show you because it's very embarrassing. But my <laughs> wife pulled it out of a box as we were kind of cleaning out a closet the other day. And she showed me at 11 years old and I was dressed up in this costume, had my dog dressed up. And I was like, well, that shows you. I, I always talk about, you know, wanting to be creative and, and versatile. And, 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 and it's, I pass it on to my son. But my son loved Spider-Man. And I remember going to the grocery store and we went through three different sizes of Superman. Uh, uh, costumes. And I remember going to the grocery store and he would wear it underneath his clothes just in case somebody needed him. So as a tribute to Tommy Kaufman, I'll go with Spider-Man. Awesome. Love it. Favorite TV show to binge watch? Cool. Um, you know, it's this period has kind of thrown you into kind of a, a funky time to where I, I, I've gotten on so many different ki kicks. I, I would say probably, I'm going to go back, I'm going to date myself a little bit. I would say it's, it's between Cheers and Seinfeld, uh, historically. Um, but in terms of kind of the, 
the, uh, the, 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 the newer time. I, I love Yellowstone. And the new season's coming out this month. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see, uh, see the new Yellowstones as well. Awesome. Favorite food? Um, whatever it is, a lot of it. So I, I, I'm not real picky, but, uh, but I love qual uh, quantity. And, you know, it wasn't until I hit 40 that, that I had to really do much about it. I always stayed about two weeks out of shape and I could quickly get back into it. Um, let's say this, this COVID time has put me more than two weeks out of shape. So we'll go with, with quantity. Um, but at the same time, my, my wife has uh, Italian descent and she makes homemade ravioli. Uh, she does homemade uh, meatballs. Um, you know, I mean, she's, she's really versatile. Not only is she a college coach herself, but she finds time to do a bunch of uh, stuff like that. So I, I, will, I will go with my guns and go with uh, uh, Italian cuisine. Awesome. Do you have a favorite tradition that you do with your teams every year? So probably my favorite tradition uh, is our end of summer. I, I put a lot of value in April through September of developing players. And, and I feel like we've been very, very strong in the development of our guys. I mean, you look at John Conchar, who's, you know, was playing 20 minutes a game for the Grizzlies before the NBA shut down. And, you know, we were his only Division One offer. And he redshirted, put on 43 pounds of muscle. And then next thing you know, you know, he's the only player in the history of college basketball, 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, 500 assists, 250 steals, and just developed in our program. So as we go through that time period, I, I put a lot of value to how we finish it out. We do what we call our Summer Olympics at the end of every summer, where it's sort of a, a, uh, uh, a strongman contest um, on steroids, uh, with a little bit of comedy in it. So we'll do SUV push. We'll do a campus run. But then the campus run, as they go through, there's no rules on how to get from A to B. So guys may choose to go through buildings. They may find shortcuts as they go through and they do it. Um, then we also, uh, we, we, we include in that, you know, the NBA combine stuff with the shuttle runs, with the 185 max outs, um, you know, with uh, pull-ups and maxing out pull-ups. But then we also do some fun stuff like we play four square in it. And then we also do home run derby uh, on the uh, softball field. And so uh, that, that's probably my favorite tradition. And, and the winning team gets to maintain their team from the year before, all the returners. And then the losing team, they have to come up with a new team name. And then they get to draft the newcomers first um, as they do it. They do jerseys and they have a lot of fun. But then we finish that with what we call pie in the face. And I, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to laugh at myself. And I think that's uh, a really good quality as you manage teams, you know, can you look in the mirror? And so with our pie in the face, our players, they get one pie a piece um, and, and they, it's, it's basically, uh, you know, whipped cream on top of a plate and they go out in front of the facility and we have all of our coaches, our strength coach, our academic advisors, uh, our trainer, everybody out there. And the player has to thank one of our support staff for how they've helped them to develop or grow during the summer. And then they get to give us a pie in the face. And so I think that culmination, that last day of summer is, has become really a, a cool tradition. Yeah, that sounds really fun. Last question, um, do you have a favorite community service activity that you've done with one of your teams? So um, sort of twofold. Um, I have two really big passions with me. I mean, the, 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 the one is, is I love, I love kids. Um, I got, you know, if you follow my Twitter at coach call, when you're going to see me up with the youth in Fort Wayne, um, you know, I did a Fort Wayne uh, driveway shooting challenge during COVID where I, you know, I challenged uh, the kids to get out with their mom and dad and, and get shots up and post it. And if they had the most shots, they'd sit on our bench for a game with their mom or dad. And, and uh, I'd give them free camp. Um, you know, I love youth. Um, and then my other passion is, is that uh, I, 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 I'm really invested in the coaches versus cancer and the fight against cancer. I lost my mother 
um, over a dozen years ago. And, and uh, you know, she battled cancer for 10, 15 years and, and uh, was a survivor for a long time. And, and uh, she's been my inspiration to uh, get into college coaching. I was an investment banker right out of college in San Francisco. And my mom didn't understand what that, what that, uh, what that did, what value I, I added to, to the world. And she was a, a teacher um, by trade. And, and so when I told her, my, I was lucky, my firm got bought out. I had an opportunity to uh, kind of, you know, choose a new profession. I took a job in Southwest Virginia at a division three uh, university uh, or college um, coaching for $5,000 a year. My mom could not have been happier. Now my dad, like, I mean, he was losing his mind, you know, and, 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 and thinking, oh, I got to get my wallet out to make this work. But, uh, you know, she was just happy that I was going to be able to, uh, to teach and, and, and coach. And I thought that was cool. So um, we've, we do a coaches versus cancer youth clinic every fall um, to where I sort of combine my, my two passions. And, and I've done the Fort Wayne coaches versus cancer. So I have the Mad Ants, um, the, the G League team comes in, um, as well as Indiana Tech and uh and st francis and we have all of our players and all of our coaches and we take it on our field house and do a huge clinic and we partner with american cancer society and you know we do other things like we 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 read to youth in terms of uh with uh, real men read and the big brothers big sisters program and so but those are two of my my, my biggest passions that's awesome we'll really appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us today and look forward to working with you in the horizon league this year all right. Thanks, Rachel. Appreciate you having me. Excited for the Horizon League.